Alright, hello and welcome back to Dudes and Dudettes to another Dino Duds walkthrough, let's play videos, whichever you want to call it. Um, it is currently 2.20 in the AM for me, and I just had to play this game. Um, really looking forward to it. I am gonna, I, I was trying to work it out to where you can't hear, like, my mouse clicks and my keyboard clicking, clicking. Um, but it's a little harder than I thought, so for now we're gonna kind of consider it ASMR. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue where we left off in the long dark and uh, have some fun. I'm also going to do another thing where I got told to do survival mode and turn on a couple different things. And he said I would thank him later. Uh, really good friend of mine. I uh, met him, you know, through doing YouTubing and stuff. This cool guy named Ebag. Uh, you should check him out sometime. I'll put his link in the description when I get the first chance I get. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's have some fun. I'm going to resume the current story. Don't have a fire? Use purification tablets to treat non-portable water. Potable water. No matter where you are. I said portable. Yeah. Alright. So. Ooh, Speedy Gonzalez. Alright. I remember why we were here. I gotta remember how to pull stuff up. Okay. So that's how we do that. We're gonna use the rock. Oh, I thought it was funny. Um. Oh, could you have imagined if I got that? Oh, wait. So I can pick up if I'm close enough. All right, maybe it's where my thumb's at. Kind of. Trying to learn how to aim on this game is kind of hard. Okay, maybe a little up. Ah, uh, he's going too far. Let's see. Ugh. I really don't want to go at night without any food, but I feel like we're going to have to try. Let's grab that. Sorry, little guy. Ugh, I hate that. Why is... I don't know why the fire thing was there, but whatever. Astrid, where did you go? Yeah, where did you... A coyote? It's a coyote? I'm good. It's a wolf, I might be in trouble. Let's try to stay away from him. Possibly invoke the wrath of, of its friends. Let's make sure it's not following us. Whoa! Looks like some kind of radio tower. All right. It must be closer to civilization than I thought. Let's hope so. Wait. I honestly thought that wolf was going to jump scare me just now and like bite my hand or something or my face. And I was going to get hurt even more and then... Man, the fact that I saw a wolf... I know I'm playing on like the easiest setting, but... <sighs> Seeing a wolf so early on is kind of scary. And right, we got to find a way to recover our health at some point. I mean, we did see that, um, uh, what's it called, uh, we got that syringe, but unfortunately that syringe is only used for an emergency situation, so, and it's to get away, because I'll pass out after using it, so I'm a, a little scared about what that means for me, uh, we'll take both of those. Because the heads, I believe, was it the heads that were eat edible? 
I was going to say eatable. <laughs> um, and the other part was for tinder. And we might need a lot of tinder. I don't like traveling at night just because wolves are going to be more active at night. Again, it, it's the easiest difficulty, so they shouldn't come running after me and hunting me down, but... Oops. Um, it's very possible that's going to happen. We're just going to have to keep on our toes and, uh, you know, be aware, you know. Yeah, we're out here on the easiest difficulty, but doesn't mean things can't still hit the fan. Um, I feel like I should go up that way. Where can I climb that? Well, let's try to climb that first, actually. The other way looks like it's the actual pathway. Let's see. Okay, good. I thought I can go through branches. I was like, um... Like, game? No. Okay, so there was nothing up here. Um, uh, that sucks. This is gonna kinda hurt a bit. No, maybe not. <sighs> Come on. I can't jump, I guess. Okay. Wait. Can I... I put myself in this situation. Okay. Um, let's go for the lowest point and jump down. Okay, looks like we didn't lose too much health. Okay, well, let's get to the radio tower and... Um, hopefully we can find some weapons. I definitely hope like we can make like a bow or something. If we can't make a bow, maybe we can find a bow. And then maybe we can hunt the wolf for some food. What is this? We got a tower that way. Is this a wolf den? I found coal. Oh, great source of heat, or great for heat. What is this? This is like some ore, maybe. Wait, am I overloaded or anything? Let's see. Uh, I am pretty heavy, okay. So we should probably quit picking stuff up. I was wondering, because... There we go. I just had to throw one extra rock to make myself a little quicker again. Whew. Okay. I got some coal, which is great. I got wood. I know I just threw a rock, but rose hips are going to be a lifeblood. I feel like, excuse me if you heard that I a minor burp. We got guts, so maybe we can dry out the guts and make a bow string? Maybe. I know in, um, what's it called? Sorry that I heard something over here. Uh, I know in Green Hell, I think it is. You can make bow strings, or no, that was Miss Survival, is what you make. Um, yeah, that man is dead. Um, it's what you use, like bear guts, to make bow strings. Is this a dead guy? It is. Oh, someone's just sitting here, frozen. Um, I, I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to throw the rock at you. You looked at me weird. Wait. Right. Oh, it's a town. Oh. Maybe I can find help there. Oh, yeah. I hear howling. I heard howling. Oh. I hope it's the one behind me, but I swear I heard it from my left. Okay. 
We got this. Stuff. We got this. I am kind of keeping a vigilant eye on the time this time, just because uh, last time the video went to 45 minutes, and that was an accident. Um, if you guys want longer videos, let me know, and uh, I can go ahead and do that. I just don't want to do too long, because I don't want to, you know, d to deter anyone or whatnot from watching that are like, oh no, it's a long video. <laughs> this town's... Okay, thank God. Wait. Look. Smoke from that chimney. Oh, I... Thank God you saw it, because I didn't notice it. Someone's home? Oh yeah, now there's lights. It's either lights, or it's because the house has a fire in it, because of the chimney smoke. Hello? Anyone out there? Dude, what are you doing? Why would you shout? What if there's a wolf nearby? I saw this guy. I want to hit him up first. Ooh. Oh, oh yes. Yes, please. What Wait. happened here? Oh. Cured leather. Leather's fantastic. What has happened to all these people? Wait, did he get nommed on or? I can't tell. There's another light over there. Town of Milton, huh? This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. So it's not a visual glitch. There is something on there. Okay, well, we're going to check out this house first. And then I think we'll hit up that house. Um, it just seems like a smarter idea. Check the closest house. Um, inventory. I cannot equip my axe. Okay, well, interesting. It should be good at breaking lumber or breaking up sticks, though. Maybe it'll make it faster. Um, that would be fantastic if that's the case. I hope it is. Can't look through the windows. Oh, here we go. Firewood bin. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can make friends with whoever this is. I'll give you half of what I've got. Because, uh, yeah, they got a rocking chair. So maybe it's like a nice person, like maybe a nice old man or lady. I don't know. If everyone else is gone, I don't know. Who would be here, though? All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. You can eat food, or get food poisoning by blah, blah, blah. Hello? Maybe it's, it has to be someone Anybody living here, because it's, but it looks kind of rough. Oh. Are you blind? Maybe? No, don't sneak up on them. They got a gun. Um. Granny? I heard a. It sounded like a woman. Oh, Jesus! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back! You scared the hell out of me. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I need help. I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Me. Good news is an old lady. So I was right. I don't recognize your voice. Well, I don't recognize you. Left, like the others. So I must be a mainlander. I just got here. Someone who doesn't know any better. No. Oh. My plane I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. Okay, I'm gonna meet up real quick. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. 
must be worse than they thought. Oh, okay. You know, I kind of want to see how good of a shot she is, so I'm going to test my luck. If she shoots me, I mean, I didn't say it, but still. Let's see. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. Are you expecting trouble? Trouble? Huh. Trouble found me. You mean the store? The bad man. The bad man came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. You know, thinking about it, the bad men, there was a guy outside frozen to death. I wonder if he was, if she shot him and he ran? Uh, I don't know what the bad men look like, though. Let's, let's try to find out. Let's get some info here. Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Ah, she seems sweet. I like her so far. All right, what does she mean by hurt? The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. Mm -hmm. Could they underestimate it? Did. Five bucks that she shot that guy. <laughs> uh, let's ask her if she needs supplies. I did put some wood in there. Maybe it'll help her. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're going to need to find some food and fuel. Or neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. Do you have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. Hmm. The ones left will have their own ones. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? I'll be looking for signs of her. There's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the night of the lights and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. Dude, I love Grandma. Wait, this is already Chapter 3? When did I pass Chapter 2? Dang. Okay. That's because there's a way out. Well, any idea how we can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town. Hmm. After the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. I don't worry, I got you. I like you. You're very nice. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? We don't really belong here, do you? Hey, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. 
People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline, and it was suddenly cut. Hmm. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad. That's fair, though. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. <sighs> Is that gunpowder kind of smoke or? You mentioned smelling smoke. Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Huh? Lily? Never mind. I wonder who this Lily is. Uh, Power. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. Damn. Just got kind of a bleak outlook. All right, others? What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? Right. The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf, with birds on it. Possibly injured. Hmm. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. Oh, she does now. There were angry voices and... Wait, wasn't alone. But the story. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Is it possible she's working with the bad men? I mean, she wouldn't tell me what's in that case. It's gotta be kind of possible, right? Before you mentioned hearing voices, do you remember what you heard? Memories are great. Missy. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. 
Blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. Blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Damn. So, I guess I'm gonna have to find out more. <laughs> um. Find supplies to keep help keep Grey Mother alive. Uh, Jay, for more info. Blind old woman might be the last survivor in Milton. She might be key to finding, understanding what happened to Astrid. Check the gas station for more supplies. Stock Grey Mother's fridge with food. Fill Grey Mother's firewood bin. Okay. Where's her fridge? Not the fridge? That's a cabinet. Ah. Um. It is so dark. Okay. I think it's obvious I'm gonna need to make a torch. I could use a flare, I guess, but let's make a torch. Uh okay. I need lamp oil. Okay, wait. So should I pull the wood back out and put more in? It says firewood. Oh, it's so quiet. All right, so Jay. Okay, so it does have to be firewood itself. It can't be like the wood I like to use. I, mean, I guess that's fair. Yeah. My thirst has gone back up nice. Temperature's good. And it looks like our hunger's not too bad. Starting the Grey Mother was fine. Oh, here we go. Okay, under a vehicle. So if I need to take refuge, I can. Pry bar. I'm guessing like if wolves are chasing me or something, I can go in there. Bank manager's house key. I did say we're gonna go here next, so. Man, I'm so paranoid of wolves, though. Man's list forever away. Is this a gas station? It is. Okay, that looks like deer. Maybe I can hunt some deer down here later. Ah, oh, thank God, I can go inside. Oh, I, hello. Yo, what's up, old man? Hold on. No more cash? All right, I guess I'll talk to you. Hey, sir. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? 
escaped the town. No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. Hmm. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Sorry, had to cough. Um, so Methuselah, okay, uh, cars. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running? People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? <laughs> My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you have to live with what remains. I feel like you think the end of times is coming. <laughs> you seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? I'm not sure it's anything probably will just ever be the storm, back to power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. My guy is rude and just started talking over him. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded. Left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. I found an old lady, so thank you very much. I already found a friend. I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. God, you are so cheerful. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. I mean, at least he's nice, I guess. Ooh. <gasps> I can cook on it. Yes. Okay, cool. I didn't wait. I wonder how many cooking slots I have on here. Oh, it's an infinite duration. I found a place where I can eat or make food forever. Nice. I'm going to save the game. I don't know when the last time we saved was. It. Can I grab one of these? <gasps> I can. So the axe does help, or the hatchet does help. Sweet. Okay. Um. What's this? Give me that. A metal chair. Hacksaw to break down. Ah, well, he wasn't getting when he said he didn't have any more cash. Uh, take a stack of papers. Take them peaches. Hang in the microwave? Nope. Sorry, old man. I have to feed my friend. I like you, and you seem to be one of my friends too now, but uh, I like her more. There's two of those. Hold on. Search. I'm just gonna search in the dark, I guess. Nice. Dude, I'm gonna get my grub on. Oh, hello. Uh, I am so lost in the dark right now.
I got some food. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, a torch would be fantastic, but I have no lamp oil. Oh, here we go. Stormproof lantern. Sprain affliction, what did I do? What happened? Hold on, why did I get afflicted with strength? Is it because I'm overweight? Ah, it is. Shoot. Um. Uh. Try to eat some of those. We can get our hunger up anyway. And then. Headaches may follow. Let's get rid of a couple of these. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. So you get a sprain if you're carrying too much. Alright, what time is it? Let me look. Wait, hold on. Let's see a granola bar. <gasps> a granola bar. <sighs> Food. Wait. Okay. Um, sorry, I get distracted. Okay, so it looks like about 35 minutes have passed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do that. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked as I'm looking around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video. And, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And the uh, clicking isn't so bad. <laughs> Anyways, stay classy dudes and dudettes. Yeah.